I went back to Tibet to visit my father. He was sick. It's night when five Chinese soldiers stop our car near the border, and they take us to a security facility. I can't see anything in the room because there's no light except for this big torch in my face. One points a gun at me and asks, "Are you a nun?" They're not satisfied with any of my answers, so I remain silent. But they get angry and they hold me up by my hair and hit me with batons and slap my face with such force that I've lost my hearing to this ringing sound in one ear. I am a nun. At any hour, day or night, they interrogated me, kicked me, beat me. Eventually, I couldn't feel the pain. I just wanted to die. They shocked me with electric batons, and I passed out. There's only a tiny window at the top of the wall, which doesn't provide much light. My left foot and left hand have been handcuffed to the bare cement floor, where I try to sleep in the clothes that I've worn since I was arrested. It's impossible to sleep in the freezing cold with no cover. I've been in solitary confinement for twenty-five days. It's stuffy. The only fresh air comes through a hole in the door, which they use to pass food in and out. Sometimes they say we're not going to give you any food or any water. I've been so thirsty. I've even thought about drinking my own urine. It's hell on earth. I'm a simple nun. My father wanted to see me before he passed away. Why am I being punished for it? Give Tibetans their voice back. Stop torture. Free Tibet. <laughs>